Hi, for this video we're going to find the variance in the standard deviation using the TI Inspire. Um, if you recall, the population variance is found by taking each individual value, subtracting the mean, squaring that deviation, adding them all up, adding up all the sums of the squares, and then dividing by the number in your population. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. For the sample, you do the same thing, except for remember that you divide by n minus 1. For this, it's something that can take a very long time to do, especially if you have a lot of data points, so it's helpful to use technology um, to find these answers much more quickly. So what we want to do is, like I said, we're going to use the Inspire to help us find these so that we don't have to do the hand calculations. So in order to do this, we want to add a data and statistics screen. And then you would put in all of your information. So um, let's just say that I wanted to call this numbers or something like that. Um, then I would come down and I can put in all of my data values. I already did this on another screen, so I'm not going to go through and put all of the information in. But that's where you would start is you would name it whatever you want to, whatever your data values are. And then you would put in all of your numbers. Um, if you end up doing something that you didn't want to do, you can always hit Control and Z, and it will delete any information that you just put in. Um, because I have this information already in another screen, I'm just going to hit Control and left, and it's going to take me over to that other screen. If I wanted to delete that other one completely, I can do the Control up, and it will allow me to access a screen, so I can go back to here. Um, so here is where I have all of the information put in. Like I said, um, I do have all 10 of the data points already put in here um, just to save time. I prefer to do the next part on a calculator screen, so I open up a calculator screen. You could do it in here over on the other side of your spreadsheet. Um, like I said, I just like to do it in a calculator screen, so I'm going to control I and add a calculator. And then when I do that, I'm going to hit the menu button. And I'm going to go down to statistics, so menu, statistics, and then stat calculations, and then option one, the one variable statistics. We only have one list that we are working with, so I'm going to click OK. And the X1 list is going to be our data, okay? because that's what I named it. You just have to remember what you named it. And then we're going to come down and just click OK. The frequency list, we just want it to be one. Um, because of the fact that each of those data values only occur one time. If you had a frequency list, then you would put in whatever list you put that in. So what comes up on your screen is a lot of information. Some important information in here is the X bar. Remember that is your mean. So if you were doing hand calculations, you would have to take and do 41 minus 42.4, 38 minus 42.4, 39 minus 42.4, all the way down to 44. Um, and then you would have to square all those values and then sum them up. The nice thing about the graphing calculator is right here where it says SX, um, we have 2.75681. That gives us our standard deviation of our sample. So if you're looking for the population standard deviation, we would look for sigma. So for the population standard deviation, we would look for sigma. And in our calculator, it's sigma x. So the 2.61534 is our population standard deviation. Um, for our sample standard deviation, we would look for s. In this case, they denote it as SX because of the fact that this is our first variable. Um, there are things later in the um, statistics course where you deal with two variables, so they have ways of denoting two different variables. That's the reason that X is there. Um, so for the S, it's the 2.75681. On this screen, even though it gives me a lot of information, it does not give me the variance. So if you need to find the variance, you just have to remember that the variance is found by, if you're dealing with the population, you would just square your standard deviation. So same thing for the sample. If you're looking for the variance, you would just square your standard deviation. 
Um, especially if you're working in a technology program for your homework or something, they're very picky on the calculations and that you have the exact values. Um, so instead of trying to remember this whole number and squaring it, it's easier to use your, vari um, your variables screen on your calculator. And so with this, if you notice it says var, that stands for variables, and it brings up a whole lot of things. Even though we didn't enter all of these, we want to select the one that says stat.sx. The stat.sx stands for the sample standard deviation. And so then if we just square that value, that would give us the 7.6 ends up giving us our sample variance. If we're looking for the population variance, we would do the same thing, except for this time, we would find the stat with the sigma x, and we would square that one. And that gives us 6.84. So we quickly calculated with 10 data values. The calculator gave us the values um, very quickly, much more quickly than if we would have had to do the hand calculations with this. So remember what your calculator is doing is it first adds all these values, finds the mean of them, subtracts each individual data point from the mean, um, squares the deviations, and divides it by the number in your set, and it instantly, and then it takes the square root because it does give you the population standard deviation and the, popu the sample standard deviation. So your calculator is much quicker at giving us the results. Um, in the real world, we do tend to use some sort of technology. This can be done in Excel. Um, other statistical software that might be used would be like Minitab, Excel, um, SAS, R. But any type of statistical software would be able to help you find the standard deviation or the variance. As always, thanks for watching.